During the UFC 267 media day, Dana White was asked about the question of who Nate Diaz is going to face next. He said, I don't know, we are working on some fight for him. Few days back, he denied Tony Ferguson, which Nate Diaz shown interest that his, he, Tony might be fighting Nate. So he said, no, we are working on something else for him. But today he said that somebody at UFC 267 card could be the possible opponent for Nate Diaz. But if you look who it could be, because given it might be the Nate Diaz last fight in UFC, he might not decide to extend his contract. So UFC upcoming superstar is Hamzat Chimaev and UFC if Nate Diaz is going to fight his last fight, then UFC would like to make him match against Hamzat Chimaev so that if Hamzat wins, he becomes even a bigger superstar and he can get some more spotlight. Because Dana White look at him as prospect who can do very well in both divisions, welterweight and middleweight. So at the business side of things, that things, this matchup really makes sense and and Dana White is known to make not only the matchup who makes sense, fun wise, fighting style wise, he is also known to make decision or make matchups who make a lot of sense if it's come to business side. Prime example of this is the BMF match fight between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. Even Dana White made a build for that fight. And The Rock was available to, to present the belt to the winner of that fight. So looking at all these things, it's very possible. Then another fighter who might be going under the radar is Dan Hooker. Because if you can remember when the last time Gilbert Byrne was going to fight Kamaru Usman, Nate Diaz tweeted a photo, a video of Dan Hooker knocking out Gilbert Byrne. To which Dan Hooker asked him like, are we going to fight next? Then Nate Diaz replied that, yeah, at 165, which Dana White, like always, absolutely denied saying that is no, never going to happen as long as I'm here. But given Dan Hooker recent decision making and his willingness to, sh willingness to show up at crucial time for UFC at UFC 267 card. It might be that this fight could be made and it would be a fun fight because Dan Hooker is a striker. His striking is elegant and Nate Diaz is a striker too. And recently when Nate Diaz was available for boxing fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, he met their MMA journalist Mo, to whom he said that he likes Dan Hooker and that fight if that's ever going to happen. So let's see who is he is going to fight next and that's it for this video and thanks for watching it and please subscribe.